course the lighting decided to do this now. Please, Mr. Sun, would you like get out of my eyes for just this minute? Hello, and welcome back to another video. Now, some of you may notice that I look a little bit more um, fleshy than usual, and that is because today it is Halloween, and we're going to be doing something very spooky. No crackers, Gromit! We are going to be doing the unthinkable, and we're going to be carving pumpkins. So these are the three unlucky pumpkins we're going to be working with today. This is Sandra, and this is Galacticus. There he is. This is Little Smelly Boy, and he is so called because he is very smelly. <laughs> So today we're going to be carving him along with the two others over there. Is this technically murder because I am pumpkin and I am carving pumpkins? So the plan is to carve two pumpkins. I've got three pumpkins but I'm thinking of saving one and turning it into a pumpkin pie. If you want to see something like that, get this video to 300 likes because I know that will never happen so I won't have to make a video on it. I'm just going to make pumpkin pie for my own enjoyment. For the other two, we're going to be using this lovely Jack's face design for... I don't know which one. Should I use Smelly Boy or should I use the Big Boy? We'll decide. This is a simple design, she says. Probably going to get it very wrong. We're going to start with this one because it seems to be simple. And we have the instructions that Nintendo have given us right here. And then when we've uh, established how good or bad we are at pumpkin carving, we're going to try something a little bit trickier. You'll have to watch to the end of the video to see what the other design is. Well, without further ado, let's get on with the video. But first, I must take a sip of my pumpkin coffee. I have become the brand. Okay, so these are the instructions. Kids, ask a grown-up to help you apply the stencil and carve the pumpkin. I don't need help. Cut out a lid on your pumpkin, then scoop out all the gross innards. Gross innards is not gross, it's delicious. Pumpkins deserve love, they are not gross, okay? Let's start with this one. I think there was supposed to be tape involved, which I have over there. Do I need a pen? That's a knife. I might need a pen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a pen. Okay, I'm back and I have Sharpies. Will his face fit on this pumpkin, by the way? No. What are you doing to me, Jack? Change of plan, we're using the big boy. Big boy, come here. Oh my god, you're so, so heavy. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> He's enormous. Yeah, that'll fit. That's gonna be great. Okay, let's draw. So we've drawn a... A lid. But he's so massive, you can barely see him. Apologies. Well, I have my little pumpkin tool. I'm so sorry about this, by the way. I, I, I honestly am very ap apologetic about it, but things have to be done, I'm afraid. Ugh. Wow, it cuts so easily. The smell is not the nicest smell I've ever smelled. It squirted me in the face. That's what she said. Okay. Whew. That was fun. So we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. We've got his head off. Oh, mmm. Wow, the smell is pungent. That's fun. That goes straight in the bucket right here. Actually, no, we, we need to scrape off the, the goo, don't we? Also, here's a fun fact. We're not gonna waste any of this pumpkin. Well, we're gonna try and not waste it. Everything we're scooping off, we're gonna try and keep, unless it's too stringy to eat, in which case, Never mind. Oh, it's on the floor. Nobody saw anything, it's fine. Why is it hairy? Is that my hair? Ew! Stop! Well, we're just gonna leave that in there for now. Look at that! I barely need to do anything! Look at this chasm of goo! We take our scoopy thing and we start doing the scooping. I swear like more pumpkins have like more goo in them. He's just all seed. Like look in here, it's like a chasm of of seeds. I've never seen a pumpkin so hollow inside before. It's like the inside of my head. Jack, I had no idea you were a small brain too. I think that just went in my drink. <laughs> oh, 
I'm making such a mess. Come on, out you get, brains. One of my nails came off. When did that happen? Where did it go? Okay, we're getting physical now. We're gonna use our hands. I don't like where this is going. It's like War of the Worlds in here. It's the red weed. Everything's slimy. I might need to get some kitchen roll just to like dry him off. He's a little bit wet. Stop! Ugh. That'll do, pumpkin. That'll do. Yeah, he's whoa, he's a slippery customer. He's hollow now. Okay, I'm gonna give him a wipe now, and then we're gonna move on to the stencil. Oh god. Hey look, cool, cool design. <laughs> Clean the boy. Polish your furniture with care, and some effects may be added. So What's next on the to-do list? Step two, trim the excess paper around the stencil and leave a border of at least half an inch. You know what I should have done? I should have done Jeremy. Why didn't I not think of this? Half an inch. Is that half an inch? That good? Come here, you. Oh my goodness, he's such a heckin' big boy. Take the stencil to your pumpkin and use a push pin to carefully poke holes along the guidelines and space the holes about one eighth inch apart. Why is it making me do maths and fractions? Why can't I do this? Ah, oh, look at that. Already looks like him. There are seeds stuck to Miss tape. I mean, I'm assuming this is what it means. This is literally instructions for children and I'm like questioning it. Okay, so then it says to use a push pin. Where's my push pin? <laughs> this feels wrong. I, I do apologize about this, mate. Stabbing your eyes out. Uh, help? Please, sir, stay put. I know it hurts, but it'll be over soon. You can just look at his butt for now. When people ask me what I did with my day, what I'm doing for Halloween, I tell them I will poke holes in a pumpkin to make it look like an Animal Crossing character. And I can guarantee nobody will be my friend. I think we're done. What happens now? Remove the stencil and tape then use a carving saw to cut along the dotted lines you made with the push bin. Let's remove the stencil. Oh wow, that looks great. Let's get started. Ah! It's very difficult to do this at an angle. We're starting with the nose. I feel like most people would start with the eyes, but not me. Oh, I'm not like other girls. There we go. Oh, that just popped right out. Complete with star. Ooh. Please tell me in the comments below if you are going to be carving a beautiful Jack just like mine. The moment of truth. Why won't your mouth pop out? Just pop out, please. Whoa, my finger was there. Okay. Yay! Aww, what a cutie! <laughs> Isn't he great? We're now gonna try and like fix up his, his eye holes so they're a little bit bigger. And uh, and then he should be done and we can, uh, we can put a light in him. There he is. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I think he turned out okay. I mean, he, was, uh, he wasn't that hard to do, was it? But that's not the point. The point is that we had a go. When it gets a little later, I will show you what he looks like in the dark. Let's move on to the next pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. The difference in size is, is great. Since the new update is going to be released on the 5th, which is going to be, well, a couple of days from whenever this video goes out, I decided that I would have a go turning one of the new characters into a pumpkin. Three guesses who that is going to be. Shino! Shino is gorgeous. So first things first again, let's uh, cut the head open. Wow, that's, whoo, I'm getting high off that. Come on, smelly boy. Wow, he smells. You stink, pumpkin. This is useless. This is, this is dead to me. This is the superior tool. We've established that. No, it isn't. I think the spider might be better at it than those tools. This'll do for now. So we tape it onto here. Yes. We could just do the face, I guess. Like I, I had intended to do the entire body, but I feel like the face might be easier for us. We've stuck Shino onto the pumpkin. We're just gonna pin the pinny bits and try and uh, get this to work. Go around the ears. I think for sure I'm only going to do the face because look at the detail in those eyes. I'm not gonna be doing all these tomatoes. They are tomatoes, right? Is that everything? Does that look good? Gently peel it away. I mean, you can kind of tell. Now wait for me to ruin it some more. I need to um, color in the darker bits. They're supposed to be black. No, it got hairy bits on it. Now it's made a weird shape. No. <laughs> it's not that funny, mate. I know it looks awful, but you don't need to laugh at me. Yes, I may have messed it up a little bit. Help! 
We've coloured in the bits that are supposed to be black. Oh, Sheena, what have I done to you? So apparently the white bits, these bits that aren't coloured in, are going to be completely cut out. The rest are going to be left intact and the others are going to be thinned out. So let's start with the getting rid of the big chunky bits. I'm going to destroy it. Pop that bit out. That's the first bit of the brain. I'm very scared that this is going to go horribly wrong. I don't want your nose to come off. Come on. Those are the white bits. They've been cut out. The rest need to be like slightly cut out, like just carved. So I guess I just have to try and take little teeny weeny sections. This is going to be really difficult. I can already tell. I don't even know like how much to cut off. Okay, well you can't see it because it's not focusing, but I have cut a little bit of the eye out. Oh, I've missed a bit. <laughs> no! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I left it. Oh no, okay, well. We'll just have to stick that on with the pin or something later on. It was going well and now it's going not well. It looks like a Picasso picture. No, go stay, stay put. Oh, bye. I have this, this pumpkin light here. Oh no. I don't have any batteries. Ah! Uh... Ah! Looks amazing. Carry on trying to cut this and make little incisions and then I'll get back to you at the end. <laughs> okay, and here's the finished result. Yay! <laughs> Ignore the fact the nose is just precariously placed there. If you look at it from like maybe a distance, it doesn't look that bad, right? <laughs> it looks okay. I will show you what it looks like like at night time when it's got like proper lighting. So here they both are, the two pumpkins I've done. I definitely think that uh, Jack here was easier to do, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, if you liked the video and you wanna see more from me, feel free to subscribe. I usually don't post anything like this. It's usually just Animal Crossing stuff, maybe a couple of other games thrown into the mix, but majority is gameplay, so if you're looking for more pumpkin carving, you won't find it here. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching me completely destroy my living room with pumpkin guts. Feel free to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>